Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, roughly eight months ago, I made a video about this pack right here, Modern Human by VR4D. Now, unfortunately, this pack right here was taken down out of the Epic Marketplace. But good news for everybody, uh, VR4D actually created their own website where you can purchase the clothes that pretty much they add in here plus some now i've been talking of vr40 for at least almost a year and just going back and forth with different ideas and one of the things and feedback that i told them whenever this was released was if you don't remember this was like 600 dollars, which i purchased because it was it's actually worth it all right it was really worth it and if you purchase this when i made that video good on you because at the end of the day you save a little bit of money but with that being said one of the feedbacks i gave to vr40 which they're really cool is that hey Maybe you can sell it piece by piece, kind of like regular clothing store type, because people won't necessarily spend $600 on a pack, but I bet you they'll probably buy in pieces where they can pick like a shirt or shorts or shoes. Now, I've told pretty much all of the clothing makers that I know here on the Epic Marketplace this idea, and not a lot of people listen, but good thing is VR40 listens. So with that being said, if you go to store.vr40.com, you can now buy MetaHuman clothes by pieces. Now, if you look at these prices, 17 euro per piece, you're probably thinking to yourself, that's very expensive. But at the same time, if you absolutely need clothes for a MetaHuman, this is cheap. Let's just say I've spent $200 alone on just the rigging portion of the clothes. So what I'm trying to say is if you want custom clothes for a meta human it's gonna cost a lot more than what they're asking for here now i didn't get paid to make this video all right um they did send me one outfit because i honestly have majority of this from the pack so again if you bought that pack before you buy anything here go ahead and double check to make sure because this jacket right here i remember from the pack that i bought so just be very careful um but but if you look at this prices here I saved a lot of money by buying the pack. But these clothes right here, obviously you've probably been seeing on my YouTube channel a lot. I am using a lot of these. Uh, look at these shorts. And these are all copyright free also. Um, so that means that you're not gonna get hit by, you know, like a company. And what's cool about it is they it comes with a thin, normal weight, and then um, whatever donut weight right here. So you are getting pretty much all of the different sizes, which is really freaking cool. And I timed this timed this video right now because they are having a 70% off, uh, I think, until tomorrow, 7% off. So, yeah, this is that. I like that shoes. I'm, I'm probably going to grab a couple more. I, just, I think the shoes I really do like. But and this is the one that we're going to be taking a look at today. So if you click on this and buy it or whatever, add it to cart, you're going to get a project file. You're actually going to get a legit project file, which I already have opened here. Uh, it doesn't come with a MetaHuman. Um, the only thing that's going to come with is this folder, the VR4D. And it's going to say orange t-shirt right here because that's what we have. So if I click on this and I'll go to meshes, you're going to see that we have one for a normal, thin, and then um, TFT. All right, right here. So I usually make my metahumans the normal, so that's fine. Um, so it's right here, and it's really easy to, to use, actually. So if, so if you go to the metahuman blueprint and you go to torso... You'll just grab that and drag and drop it right there. And it's pre-rigged. It's already rigged. So if I double click right here, they are using their own mesh. But if you look closely on the left side, these are all the same bone names and bone structures as a metahuman, which is very cool because again, it's drag and drop. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this video. As you can see right here, we don't have the neck seam. It's pretty cool. You can actually have a meta human showing some little bit of a skin. And additionally, I believe they added a little bit of pokies. Yeah, they did. They add a little bit of pokies on her um on her chest area. So it just gives you a little bit more clothes. Because as you all know, I've been fighting clothes since the meta human released. <laughs> I've done a lot of the custom meta human add a meta human thing tutorials before. Um, but now we do have companies like VR40 uh, who's making clothes for MetaHumans, which again is such a relief because if you look at the MetaHuman creator, we still have the same clothes uh, since release. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. They also have some some other scan stuff in here. These are high quality stuff. Now, obviously, I did ask if they can make a little bit more cyberpunkish. Uh, although some of these look really cool, like heels. You ever seen a meta human with heels aside from my videos? No. So hopefully, by having this website, we will see less of the meta human hoodies because I'm getting really tired of them and I'm sure you all are too. Uh, that being said, I am slowly catching up to my pre-orders for my Jace Films mocap helmet. I'm going to be shipping my third batch hopefully today or tomorrow. If you want to pre-order the Jace Films mocap helmet, email me at jsfilmsmocap at gmail.com. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on it. Right now, I only have one video kind of going over what it's about. I'm going to be doing some demonstration. And again, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in that. But basically, it's going to be a, a mocap helmet that holds your iPhone or phones or GoPros. Doesn't matter. Uh, really cheap. $129 plus shipping plus taxes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you on the next one.